What's up kings and queens? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So I'm going to be doing another Lock Tip Tuesday video. Today's question is, is it safe to alternate between interlocking and palm rolling? Long answer short, yes it is, but with caution, with care, and a little bit of knowledge. So maybe you are about to start your locks and you're not sure whether you want to interlock or you want to palm roll or you find that you've come up with some issues that one of the methods can solve. What is the difference between the two? For palm rolling, it means that you take your palms and you roll your hair either to the left or to the right and over time that hair that you just roll will mesh together and it'll lock from the outside in. Interlocking means you take your hair and you take the end, you weave it through the base of your lock, which is in between your scalp and right where your new growth ends in between that little area. And you want to do that in a counterclockwise motion. So from north to south, east to west, south to north, west to east, going around in this motion. And that will lock your hair pretty much immediately from the inside out. So, people who interlock, they usually have a very active lifestyle. Their hair is very curly, have a loose curl pattern, and it doesn't lock as fast, or their hair may be um, prone to thinning. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot interlock if you have the opposite, meaning that you have very coarse hair, or um, you are not active. You still can interlock, but that's usually why people interlock because of their lifestyle and their hair type. So when it comes to interlocking and palm rolling at the same time, whether you want the pros of each one or you find that uh, maybe over time your hair has gotten really long and your locks are putting on some stress at the roots where your hair is starting to show thinning. For whatever reason, I feel that it is safe to do both. You just want to use in moderation especially if you're palm rolled and you want to switch over to interlocking unless you want to just completely switch over which I don't feel like okay babe which I don't feel like that's a problem so for me I am the prime example of interlocking and palm rolling I most of the time palm roll my hair but I do interlock and I find that I am going to have to interlock in the near future more often or permanently just because I started off with a very small base lock. My hair, although it is very thick, I don't have um, a lot of strains of hair. And so my hair over time is getting to the point to where as it grows, my hair is showing signs of stress and it's getting thinner. So to help combat that issue, I do go in and I do interlock it to make sure that I have a strong base. I don't do it so much to where that my hair will show that I palm rolled and then it'll show a thin area where I interlock. Another tip is that if you decide to do that every so often, you want to make sure that you don't do that point before interlocking uh, all four of them. Maybe I'll do it from north to south and I'll do it from like a east to west or something like that only two times. So that way it's not as tight and it won't show that very, very small interlocking that interlock show. Some of the pros of interlocking is you only have to retwist usually every six to eight weeks. Your locks will be immediately locked once you interlock it and, and, and interlock them in, the, in that direction. Some of the cons though is you have to sit in the chair forever. It does take probably twice or three times as long to interlock than it does to palm roll. Your hair may not portray that shine, that look that it gets with that fresh retwist because it's locking and it doesn't show the retention, the growth retention as fast because you are in a sense putting it in knots. Some of the pros of palm rolling is like I said, you don't have to sit down as long. It is a much faster retwist. Your hair will show that fresh retwist look because it is not yet locked and it will portray that shine that your hair has from the healthiness or from whatever products that you're using on it. And um, your hair will show that growth, it will show that retention because you're not tying it in knots. Some of the cons, of course, you have to retwist more often. Usually, people with 
palm rolled hair they usually retwist every week to four weeks just depends on how big their pots their boxes are or um their their uh their hair what am i trying to say their hair uh type like if they have thick or very thin hair and of course the retwist does not last long so if you have not made that decision there are the pros and the cons between interlocking and the uh, palm rolling but if you decide that you want to get some of the pros from one of the methods then I feel that it is safe you just have to use it in moderation and you have to make that decision based on your hair type and your lifestyle if this video helped you out give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and until next time be you be beautiful be blessed